This is amazing. Now we have Fi3, a small language model released by Microsoft. It's tiny but mighty. Quality versus size in small language models. We can see Fi3 Mini is small, but the performance is in par with the Llama 3 model, better than Gemma 7B and better than Mistral 7B, based on MMLU benchmark. It's available in three different versions. One is Fi3 Mini, next Fi3 Small, and then Fi3 Medium. Fi3 Mini is in 4000 context window and also 128000 context window. If you see the benchmark, Fi3 Mini with 5 shot prompting is much better than Llama 3 Instruct, Gemma, and even Mixtral. Even for logical reasoning, GSM 8K dataset, it is able to outperform Gemma, Llama 3, Mixtral, and GPT 3.5. We are going to go through the Fi3 technical report paper. I'm going to break this down for you. We are going to do coding test, logical reasoning test, and basic game creation test. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Fi3 model. Also, we are going to see how to deploy this model in Azure AI Studio. Then integrate that API in your Python application. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. In regards to Fi3 technical report paper by Microsoft, it is highly capable language model locally on your phone. Fi3 mini can be quantized to 4 bits so that it only occupies 1.8 GB of memory. It is tested on iPhone 14 with A16 Bionic chip running natively on device with 12 tokens per second. This is really nice, which means we are able to run these models on many of the phones right now. The reason why it is able to compete with three times larger model is because of the high quality training data. Our training data consists of highly filtered web data as well as synthetic LLM generated data. You can see the Fi3 mini model is transformer decoder architecture similar to Llama 2, 4000 default context length. It can go up to 128,000 with Fi3 mini 128K using long rope. Fi3 small, 8000 context length. Fi3 medium, 14 billion parameter model, 8000 context. If you see the number of error rates, Fi1.5, Fi2, Fi3 mini and Fi3 small is comparatively having less errors compared to Llama 2 models, such as 7 billion, 13 billion, 34 billion, and 70 billion parameter model. In regards to safety, Fi3 comparatively more safer compared to Mistral, Gemma, Llama 3 models. Lower number means it's more safer. You can see the Fi3 version running in iPhone. And finally, what are the drawbacks or the weakness? The model simply does not have capacity to store too much factual information or factual knowledge. That's because of its small size and less parameter. But when used together with Hugging Face Chat UI and enabling the search engine, it is giving much better answer or much better result. As you can see in this example, without search, the data is outdated and with search and it's more accurate. The model is restricted to the language of English. Now we are going to test this model for its coding ability. I'm going to use Hugging Chat. There in the model sections, I'm going to choose Fi3 Mini 4K Instruct. First, Python very easy challenge. Return the sum of two numbers. So we are going to ask the large language model to create a function to return the sum of two numbers. I'm going to copy the instruction and ask the large language model or the small language model. And here's the answer. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to test it here and clicking check. And it's a pass. Next easy challenge, find the discount. Asking the large language model to create a function to find the discount. Now asking the large language model and I got the answer here, just copying it, and we are going to test it. Clicking check, and it's a pop. Next, going to Python medium challenge, virtual DAC. To create a function, to convert from digital to analog, copying the instruction and asking the large language model. Now got the answer here, just copying the answer, and going to test it here, and clicking check, and it's a pass. Now let's go to the hard challenge, find domain name from DNS provider. So asking a large language model to write a function, to find the domain name from DNS pointer. Now instructing to do so, I can see it's generating the response. Now going to copy this, going to test it here by clicking the check button. That is a fail. Seems like there is another response, which I'm going to try it, just testing it. And it is a pause. So probably I did a mistake where I copied the 
first example. So the actual answer is here. So this is a pass. Next, going to the very hard challenge, identity matrix, asking the large language model to create a function to generate identity matrix. Now instructing the large language model to do so. Got the answer here, just copying it and going to test. It passed on four of the tests, but it failed towards the end. So going to copy the error code and going to ask it again. And it's generating the fixed code error, but it's hard coding the test values. I'm going to ask, do not hard code these values. So yeah, got this code. Let's try this code for the final time. Clicking check. It's a fail again. So I'll give this a fail. Next, going to the expert level challenge, ECG sequence. Copying the instruction to create ECG sequence function and asking the model. As of now, I'm really impressed with this model. Now the code got generated. Just copying the code and going to test it. That is a fail. So going to copy the error code, give it a final chance. And it's generating the fix, copying the fix now. I'm going to test it here. That is a fail again. So comparatively, it passed till the hard challenge and it failed in very hard and expert level challenge, which is kind of expected because for this small model and it's able to go till the hard challenge is really good to see. Now we're going to give some logical and reasoning questions. Natalia sold clips to 48 of her friends in April and then she sold half as many clips in May. How many clips did Natalia sell all together in April and May? Can you click enter? 48 plus 24, 72, that is correct. Wang earns $12 an hour for babysitting. Yesterday, she just did 50 minutes of babysitting. How much did she earn? And clicking enter. So that is $10, which is correct. Now going to ask both of these questions together in a new chat. And let's see if the model is able to calculate accurately, considering there are two tasks together. I'm going to click enter. For the first question, 72 clips, that is correct. For the second question, $10, that is correct as well. So it is able to perform two tasks in one, which is really good. As suggested in the paper, plan me a one day trip with web search and without web search. We are going to do that. Plan a one day trip to London and clicking enter without web search. And I can see it's giving a general information. Now let's try the same thing in a new chat and with web search. I've marked it and clicking enter. Now it's searching the web and it's going to get me more relevant latest results based on the sources as well. So comparatively, this answer is better compared to without web search. Final task is to create a snake game in Python. And I can see it's generating the code and it's using Pygame package. Stopped in the middle, I'm going to type continue. Now copying the code, pasted the code in VS Code, which I don't see any errors here. Make sure I install Pygame using pip package. Next, Python snake game.py and then click. I saw the game just popped up and left the screen. Try it again and it's still the same. So it's not even a pass and can't give a fail because I don't see any error in the code. Now we are going to see how we can deploy this model in Azure portal. Inside the portal, you can click Azure AI Studio. There you can click new Azure AI Hub and then click end. There you can click new Azure AI Hub. There you can choose a subscription, a resource type, region, name, friendly name, provide all these details and then review and create. Once after going into that project, you are able to launch the studio. Click on that. In that, you need to deploy. So go to the deployments, create deployment, a real-time endpoint. There you're going to type Phi 3. And you can see the model here. Just choose the model, then click confirm. I'm going to use Shad Quota. Choose what GPU you want to use. Based on that, it's going to change its pricing per hour. Then click deploy. That's it. Now your model is ready. Now I'm going to click this. I can even test my model here. Give me a daily meal plan and it's generating the response. Now we can integrate this API with your own application. You should be able to get your API key from the details page. Once after you get the API, make sure you've exported Azure API key like this and then click enter. Next, create a file called app.py and open it. Inside the file, we have added a function to allow self-signed certificates and here, the step two, we are asking question. I'm going to London, what should I see? And we are giving other parameters. We can modify this based on your requirements. And finally, we are making a call to the endpoint with our Azure API key. And finally, printing out the response. Now I'm going to run this code, Python app.py and then click enter. And here is the response. Places to visit, the British Museum, the Tower of London, the House of the Parliament, the Tower Bridge, 
and the London Eye. This is exciting. Overall, I'm really impressed with this model, considering it's a small model and you're able to deploy that in your mobile phone. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.